Hi. In this video we're going to talk about how you can purchase a personal domain and connect that domain automatically to your Silverback blog. This is what I would call the easiest way to connect a personal domain to your Silverback blog. Let's get started. When you log in to your account you come to this page automatically. If you want to work with your personal domain you have to go to your controls panel, go to blog setup, go to basic blog settings and scroll down to add a custom domain and you'll see it has an example one there but let's click in that box and you'll see some instructions to how to do that but we're interested in this last sentence here. If you want to register a new domain name the easiest way is with IWantMyName.com they will automatically configure your domain to be set up for Silverback use. So this is the easiest way to do it. Now these other instructions are for if you have it with GoDaddy, Bluehost, or you know a, a number of other sites that will sell you a domain name and host that for you. This one we're interested in the quickest and easiest way to do it. The simplest. Okay first of all I'm gonna put in here since I got this screen open down here I'm gonna put in the, the domain name I want to use since I've already done this it has it in memory so I'm going to cheat a little bit here key thing to remember here save it any changes you make on any of these pages you have to go down and save the setting otherwise when you go to I want my name uh, dot com and you plug it in you do everything on that side it says you're ready and you go back and nothing happens you wait a few minutes you wait an hour wait you know a lifetime nothing happens why because well you, if you don't save this here it won't find it and thus it cannot hook it up all right so this is key here type in the name that you're going to use if you already know that if not you will come back later to actually do that so if you don't know if you have a domain name um, available then you probably don't want to fill this in yet you want to do it later so anyway let's proceed all right I'll click on this again I will click on this link I want my name click on that and I'll go to this site right here let's just see if I can actually get that address oops let's see if I can get dot com here because that's what I'm gonna look for if not then oh it is available so as you can see you have lots of options here people you know organizations may take um, .org um, information networks conversation groupings may use .net so there's a lot of them I see a number of people use .me um, so anyway there's lots of options but the most popular is clearly taking the long road .com, .com what I mean is the most common um, suffix people would look for so I'm gonna go and say I'll take it it ends up being here's what you gotta do to purchase it so I'm going to check out um, and here you would have to put in your uh, information um, as to the email address for your account because you have to set up for an account in I want my name in order to can proceed with the, the purchase of the domain that you've uh, identified and to set up your uh, password to do that all right so that would be what you need to do I'll meet you on the other side okay so here we are on the other side I, I signed up uh, just like you would I didn't provide all the my details in there because you don't need those but anyway you will end up at this page and of course we want to register a new domain name right here um, so that's our first thing is to go purchase the name so here we have it um, and we already checked and and it's already recorded here so um, we'll go ahead and and buy the thing and more setup information you need to do for, um, so you'll see the setup you have a, your account information that you'll need you'll have billing information and then when you're done uh, you'll go back I assume we'll see we're just gonna follow through the process and you'll get to see how it looks but here's the page and you'll have to put your private information in there I'm gonna forego this part as far as you uh, video part but I have to obviously do it to proceed so I'm going to do that now and we'll see you when we get through the steps and pick up where the setup actually takes place all right 
Okay, here we are um, again. We, I've gotten through the first two steps, setting up my account information you see here. Then I obviously put the credit card information or how I was going to pay. And once it's finished, it says, huzzah, your order is complete. Thank you. So do you want to set up your Silverback domain? So here we go. You just click yes, I, I would assume. Uh, sign up for Silverback. Set up instructions. Make sure you complete the following steps. And of course, is what what Silverback is. Um, go ahead. You know, we're already. You can sign up for Silverback. I'll open that in a new tab because I don't want to screw this up. But anyway, you can go back to the page. Sign up. You know, hide right here if you haven't done it. But you are already are because I mean, sign up in the sense that you have an account. If you want to, obviously sign up as in paying your subscription then here are the plans you're working with but anyway so it it's, gives you the option of signing up there um, but we already have an account so let's go and install silverback okay uh, so we're almost finished here uh, as you see we've passed the final step so we're finished here it says the setup uh, for silverback has been started what it's really waiting for is that if you have not done so already, uh, I have done so. If I, it says if you haven't already added takingthelongroad.com to your Silverback account, now is the time to do so. Okay, I already knew that takingthelongroad.com was available. So even though I purchased it here on the video, I already had checked it to see if it was available. And thus you saw that I already had entered it into the Silverback account, all right? Uh, if you did not know that, which is fine, there's no problem, you would have clicked on this, gone to I want my name, you wouldn't have typed anything in there, in here at this point, and you would simply go through the process of, of seeing if it was available and then buying it, and then once you have it, and once you install, then, then I want my name is simply waiting for you to come back to this window, this screen, and type in, what it is you purchased so that it can match up the domain you purchased with the silverback blog and then go through the steps in the background of hooking it up and giving you your personal domain all right so that's what we're talking about here so let's go back to that video here so you're in this step you're just clicking here and it's going to take you back to silverback to complete that all right i think that should wrap up everything we need to know at this phase it's going to take a few minutes for it to actually fulfill that process. It depends on how quick a lot of things happen. It can take up to an hour or two, but in this case for me, it took a, you know a couple of minutes. And I went to www.takingthelongroad.com and it showed up within a few minutes. Okay, as you see here, I mean, you can't see my URL because it's outside the uh, video window here and I can't adjust it while I'm in program. But uh, the www.takingthelongroad.com is, this is what you see right now. So it has taken effect. It's taken a few minutes. Um, uh, so it seems to be working just fine. So you should find a, a similar result. Let me know if you don't. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Silverback.